Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie and today's reading from Each Day New Beginning is going to be for October 21st. So i um, grateful that you're here with me today. Hello, hello. And um, if you stay till the end, um, I'll have a, I, I pull a card, a tarot card per day to see like how it correlates with the reading and um, just to add a little bit of something that I do um, is I see what the card says for me so I can just be more present and mindful and um, connecting to the spiritual realm so I can just be present with that. So anyhow, welcome back. And here we go. Uh, oh, and please like and um, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, so then you can be notified for, for the daily readings um, that I do here on with many books. There are over um, a thousand videos with um, reading every single day with different books. And those are in the description below. And if you need um, help finding those readings, all you do is you go into the search button and then you put in the date or the book along with my name, and then you'll be able to find that reading. Okay. All right. Without further ado, let's do this. So there's a quote from Mary Jane Sherfe, and it says, the strength of the drive determines the force required to suppress it. Hmm. We are all struggling to succeed and each day of our lives will be confronted with major or minor adversities that might well interfere with our success. Adversities don't have to hinder us, however. They can strengthen us if we incorporate them as opportunities for growth. For many of us, the ability to handle adversity is a fairly recent phenomenon, and not always can we do it securely and with ease. But we are coming to believe, step three, that a power greater than ourselves is at hand and will guarantee us all the strength we'll ever need. Knowing that action is always possible, that passive acceptance of any condition need never be necessary. Um, let me read that again. Knowing that action is always possible, that passive acceptance of any condition need never be necessary are unconditional gifts of living. The 12 step program. So our path forward is as certain as our commitment to it. Our belief in that strength of the program and our faith that all is well, even when times are troubled. No one ever promised that our new way of life would always be easy, but we have been promised that we'll arrive at our proper destination if we do the footwork and let God do the navigating. So success is at hand. I will apply what I'm learning and I'll meet it. So the strength of the drive determines the force required to suppress it. Mary Jane Sherfe. And so that's what the reading was around. Um, the only thing that's coming to my mind right now is that there is a difficult um, customer today. Um, only because she had fear that when she opened the um, the charge card in order to get um, a discount, because you you get a discount when you first open the card. She's like, but it doesn't say right now, right here. And I'm like, I understand, you know, your concern, but you know, having faith that it's going to happen because it does, and then you'll have the receipt, and it says here. I mean, that's the my cat, my kitty, she likes, he likes the springs. So he's playing with those right now. Um, so having faith that it's going to work. And I mean, 
it was so blunting out there and difficult that um, um, I did call the manager. The manager um, unfortunately didn't show up, but um, there was time in between where she can pause. And then there was another customer who was a banker and she's like, that's a normal thing. They normally, you know, set it up, you know, I don't mean to overstep, but that's what like the agreement you're making is. And so the lady's like, I totally understand. I know how to do math, but it's not showing here. Like her point was her point. And that's all she was going to say. And I said, what you're saying is, is that it isn't showing right now. It will show on your bill. She goes like, how do I know that what I'm signing up for will happen. I'm like, you just have faith in it or not. Like it's your choice. And so she finally accepted it, but in a way that was a little difficult. She was like, this experience here was terrible. This experience here, I just want to get out of here. And I was like, I get it. I, I mean, I get that. I mean, I didn't tell her that. I just was like, you know, it's your choice whether or not you want to make the agreement or not. Um, if you don't want to have faith in in this, that it's going to work out like they've all like they always do, then I totally that's your choice. So like we all have choices. And if we choose not to do something or to do something because we're afraid, then that's usually, you know, like one of those distorted thinking, you know, like her thinking in just my opinion was distorted because she had fear that she was getting ripped off. And I mean, we're not like, like the company I work for is, has been established since like, I don't even know. Let me see like 1902 or something, but not that, you know, that has anything to do with it. It's just, we all have our own way of doing things and that's okay. You know, but in the meantime, she's, she's like belligerent. Does that make sense? So she's belligerent trying to get what she wants, but there's no way that we can give that to her. There's no way that I can give her like the solidity and the proof in paper that the discount is already coming off. She's like, I'm signing up for this to write blah, 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 blah. and you know, she's spending a good amount, like for over $400. So the, I'm like, you know, that's, you know, I mean, you're, it's up to you. Like I, I can't make your choices for you. And, um, she didn't really like that. She wanted me to somehow maybe give her the 20% at the, that moment. And that was out of my power to do. So, yeah, I mean, that happens and I get it. I mean, I've been in, in that predicament. I'm going to move my leg. Eh. <laughs> it's, ah, sitting on this ball. So, I mean, I can remember being belligerent in a store being all like doubtful and rude and because I'm just like, oh, this, oh, this company always makes me feel this. this I, it's just, it's really, I'm just grateful that I have these examples in front of me daily that I can just say, I better not freaking do that. I, it's about like, stop. It's not every, everyone else's, business to take care of my emotions or to ease my pain. It's me and my higher power that's supposed to do that. It's not anyone else's job. So looking outside myself to get comfort is, you know, I mean, having loving and trust in, in my higher power is important and, and trusting in companies that I'm, you know, having credit cards with, or, you know, I mean, 
that's you know do due diligence is all I can say and then pray for the best so anyhow that's that that's the day um I love you guys let's go ahead and say the serenity prayer thank you guys for for joining and um, participating I'm looking forward to um, doing the um, astrology and tarot readings for you for those of you who are joining in um, the monthly um, join in because you'll get one for free each month that's my offer and also um, we have a free zoom meeting once a month we're working on step four this month in November on the third at 8 p.m eastern standard time so we'll start step four that'll be my second time on that and I'm really looking forward to it because it's work and I need to do it I need to do it you know swim with the current being present and what step step four is doing a thorough uh, inventory of myself so that I can understand what's going on with me and why and what my fears are deep down subconscious things so um let's go ahead and say the serenity prayer together and um then I'll pull a card okay here we go take a nice deep breath in and out ah god grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change to have the courage to change the things we can and wisdom to know the difference. Yep. Yes. And uh, what was yesterday's card? I think the Empress again. Pulling her quite a bit. I only have the 22 cards in here because I use the Visconti deck, which is the major arcana. And, um, you know, I'm to, I, I read these particular ones because number one I love the history of these cards I love how they look of course they're my aesthetic in my in my room here I just I used to paint uh, murals like this when I was uh, a mural painter and um, so I was really keen on them plus they have like a gold a gold leaf so very pretty and so this will be the card. Oh, this means we're on the right track. The emperor. Yesterday was the empress and today is the emperor. So, of course, he is looking forward. He's just planning and saying it's okay. The moon is in Capricorn, which this reminds me of that. So it's action in stability. How does that look? It looks like that. Stability, being present, being somber and uh, responsible for your for your um, to be respectful and um, having having some type of manager kind of stance to you and just to be be okay being you and also with the rules and regulations sort of like the share that I had there's rules and regulations if you if you open a charge and in order to get the discount you have to when you're signing it you're signing that you're waiting until the the um bill comes and that's it that's it. Your choice. You make choices and that's it. These are, um, this is taking the deal of those choices. This is the structure. There's structure and there's like doing diligence and looking forward with trust and faith. So that's what this is. All right. So very good. I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow, God willing, with another reading. Mm. Bye. <laughs>